art. Okay, so the best in showbiz turned out for the Academy Museum Gala on Saturday, and there was so many gorgeous looks, but I don't think I'm the only one who hasn't actually heard of this event before. <laughs> so, Lainey, can you tell us a bit more about this? So the Academy would be the Oscar Academy. This is the second annual Academy Museum Gala, and it... Because the museum's new, right? That's right. The museum opened last year, right. so this gala is a fundraiser for the Oscar Museum. And you actually talked about the Oscar I Museum remember. after the Oscars yeah. on our show, right. because they walked us through what the Oscars look like. Do you remember? So that oh, the one to say, it was one to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. yes. They have right. a lot yes. of like movie yes. treasures there. And movie stuff. treasures yeah. and paraphernalia or whatever, yeah. but exclusive items. And so they fundraised for that museum because it took many, many millions yeah. of dollars to build it. Just last night or just this weekend, they raised ten million dollars, for example. Wow. And so what happens is that it functions as a fundraiser, but also the people who are basically campaigning for the Oscars coming up are all there to make sure that they're in front of Academy members to get their vote. And one of those people, I'm happy to say, was Michelle Yeoh, who was there on Saturday. Yay. The legend. Wow. Looking gorgeous in wow. so Ellie Sab. So gorgeous. She stars in a film called Everything Everywhere All at Once. She is said to be one of the top contenders for best actress in her illustrious career. She's never been nominated. Thank you for the applause. <laughs> and, uh, Michelle Yeoh could oh. be Oscar nominee yes. Michelle Yeoh in about five months. So that's amazing. So gorgeous. Uh, I mean, there were so many people. Like, it's worth looking up the list of yeah. A-listers who were there. But one mm. of the ones who caught my eye was Olivia Wilde. I mean, did you see her? She was wearing this sheer, sparkly silver. Oh, uh, okay. we need to that this, uh, Beautiful pale gorgeous. pink feathery bottom, and of course we blurred out a certain part of it because her nipples were on full display. And I mean, people couldn't help pointing they out online. They belong in a museum. I mean, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> people also couldn't help pointing out online that uh, another person recently wore a dress that mm -hmm. was caused some controversy. Oh. Nipples were shown. That was Florence Pugh oh, when she wore the Valentino yes. dress at, uh, uh, at a Valentino show in yeah. Yeah. Rome in July. And of course. People were wondering, like, is this a message? Is she sending some kind of a message through the boobs to ah. say, I see you, ah. we are solidarity and nipples? Solidarity, Or is friendship. it something else? Or do we need to see the two of them? These are two women who people think have a feud. By the way, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. calling back to the last thing. Oh, do we need to not, see the two of them hugging on a red carpet somewhere in order Whoa. for us to for dispel a to that? They were yeah, on yeah. a red carpet and they decided to stand five people next to each other and refused to stand I'm next so to hopeful. each other. I'm hopeful that the nipple, <laughs> it's a nipple beacon to say, I see you. Wow. I support Nipples you. unite. Nipples, yes. unite. Nipples unite, everyone. What a beautiful message. Um, I, you know who stood up for me was uh, Julia Roberts. Mm. Maybe you've heard of her. She won the Icon Award. Wow. And I wonder if it's a coincidence, because I think she kind of looks like another icon in that outfit. I'm talking about Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She's giving me oh, wow. those, those RBD G d d d vibes. <laughs> and um, I'm here for it, to be honest with you. I love really that. Loving it. Yeah. I, I think that's, uh, I think you might be onto something there. Thank you. I think you might be onto something. Thank you. Um, when she hit the red carpet, I knew right away, I was like, this is going to be my favorite look. It's 21 year old Kaya Gerber, AKA uh. the daughter of Cindy Crawford. Oh, wait, doesn't it look like oh, Cindy my Crawford? God. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. First of all, as Adina Laya, we also had to blur her nipples because apparently <laughs> nipples, out, <laughs> nipples out was the look last night. Listen, I'm living for it. Look at her next to her mother. Wow. Listen, like, I cannot... Listen, I'm not about nepotism. In fact, I think it's disgusting. But when your daughter is identical to you and she's a model, I love it! <laughs> <laughs> so this is... To me, that is pure 90s supermodel yep. glam done to the nth it's degree. It's bananas how good that is. Spectacular. She's just a stunning person. And yeah. I, just keep, I just keep looking at Cindy. That look is just the construction Iconic. of that dress. It's a banana. It hey there. Wasn't that great? Do you know where you can find some equally good content? Our YouTube page. It's filled with discussions, debates, and some laughs. Head there now. Like and subscribe.